All right, New York, I know it's only preseason and it was only one game, but you can't tell me you're not excited for the next season after last night's win against the Pistons. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm bringing in CP, the franchise of Knicks TV, and I'm going to have him tell you why the Knicks could be the real deal this season. Let's get that two box. Everyone's telling me to ch chill out, CP. So let's start with uh, <laughs> Jalen Brunson and R.J. Barrett. Those two dudes, they balled last night. So what was your first initial thoughts on Brunson? And is this the duo the Knicks fans have been waiting on? Yeah, well, I, I think the enthusiasm comes from Knicks fans just wanting to see basketball, right? They were tired of the trade rumors and who's coming, who's going. They just wanted to see some semblance of organized basketball. And we got that tonight with the newest, last night rather, with the newest acquisition in Jalen Brunson. And he was outstanding. He was every bit as advertised. Head coach Tom Thibodeau was raving about him. He started the game off getting a tough, tough bucket over three defenders inside the paint. And that's what Brunson is going to do. Highly efficient inside the paint. He was able to score at all three levels. He got the offense organized and was managing the pace, managing the game. And, you know, on the other side, drew three offensive fouls. So he was very, very good in his in his preseason debut. You like the chemistry between he and R.J. Barrett. And where R.J. is concerned, look, you, you just want to see R.J. be more of an efficient player. Right. You have to understand where his offense is going to come from. Last night, he was eight of 14 from the field, 21 points, five rebounds, an easy night for RJ Barrett. And he's going to get a lot of opportunities for open shots playing off of Jalen Brunson's drive. Brunson is going to draw a lot of attention on his drives. And so RJ Barrett is going to have a lot of open opportunities to hit open shots and also to create for himself. The efficiency is all that matters for RJ right now. And last night, he certainly looked looked pretty good. Yeah, they sure did. But let's flip it to the defensive side. I watched your video yeah. uh, after the game. You mentioned in your takeaways the Knicks' defense. What did you see from them? Yeah, well, you know, preseason is, is not just about these guys getting into condition and game shape, but also executing what the coach is preaching during the week. And the Knicks and Tom Thibodeau have eight defensive principles that they are preaching in practice, some of which are to play with energy, to compete to challenge shots, to play physical without fouling. And I thought you saw that last night with the Knicks. Their energy on the defensive end was very good. You had a lot of active hands out there. Mitchell Robinson was trying to control the paint, being a force out there. Sent a message to Pistons rookie Jaden Ivey. Three blocks for Mitchell Robinson. Deuce McBride, Miles McBride, had six steals on the night. So overall, the Knicks did a good job in creating turnovers and turning those into points on the other end. Yeah, last year there were six in the NBA in points allowed. They can strengthen that, create more possessions and opportunities for Brunson and guys like R.J. Barrett. Then, you know, that, that's going to, to, to help them in the long run. So let's get to your final thoughts. Again, everyone's telling me, chill out, B. London, chill out. It's only one game. So let me get your <laughs> final thoughts. And do you have a prediction when it comes to win total? Yeah, I would say, look, you can't get too high, can't get too low about preseason. But again, the enthusiasm just came from Knicks fans wanting to see basketball and, and get past the offseason. Uh, one of the storylines to take a look at, though, is the two-guard rotation. You know, Evan Fournier has been the, the front runner and the lead candidate to start at the two. Quentin Grimes, the Knicks' second-year player, uh, is in that depth chart, but he's battling a foot injury. He's day-to-day, -day, according to the team. And then Cam Reddish, who got an opportunity to play extensive minutes in the first half, uh, left that game last night with a sprained ankle so we'll see what his diagnosis is and, and what the outlook looks for, like for him going forward but nevertheless for those two young guys they have an opportunity here to really assert themselves in this rotation but right now the injuries are certainly setting them back as far as uh predictions you know I i'm gonna say 41 wins the Knicks won 37 wins last year they brought in brunson they brought in hartenstein anything can change in the east but right now i'm gonna stick to my prediction of 41 wins with this team battling for a playing spot CP, we love what you guys are doing over at Knicks TV, Knicks Fan TV. And, of course, throughout the season, we're going to have you on again. So I appreciate you taking the time and joining us. And I'll calm down and I'll manage my expectations <laughs> for now. <laughs> Anytime, Brandon. Thanks again for having me on.